It is Therapy Thursday, a day where we answer our questions, your questions, with the help of our friend, Dr. Brenda Lloyd-Jones from the University of Oklahoma. Brenda, thanks for being here. Good to see you. My pleasure, Jonathan. Uh, let's get right into it. We got two questions today. Our first question is from Isabel, and she says, last Halloween, we had a family member get food poisoning. So now my husband does not want our kids to go trick-or-treating. However, they love dressing up and going out with their friends. How do I change his mind? Mm, well, with Halloween fast approaching, let's help uh, Isabel solve this issue. You know, um, when something happens to someone who's close to us, we experience what is called secondary trauma. So I understand the fear-based uh, decision the father has made. So it sounds as though perhaps the uh, relative became ill but because of eating the candy. If that is the case, then they will want to make sure that their children do not eat the candy. And it may be inconvenient, my suggestion, for them to sort of uh, shadow their children as they go door to door, have a container, let the kids empty their candy into that container when they return home, exchange that candy for their preference. And this way, we can move to a win-win. Here's the heart of the matter. Secondary trauma is real. We are fearful and we care so much for our children. So working toward a win-win is always the best goal. Yeah, maybe check the expiration dates too. <laughs> That'll help. Um, and then our next question today comes from Scott. Scott says, the past few months have been difficult for me. My parents have suggested that I see a mental health professional, but I don't think I have a mental illness. At what point should I see a therapist? This is a great question and an opportunity to address mis misconceptions about a professional mental health therapist. And uh, I certainly uh, uh, give Scott credit for talking with, with his parents. However, sometimes our loved ones can um, not, well, they may not have the objectivity because they care so deeply. So talking with a therapist is great. Matter of fact, one of their primary roles is serving as someone to talk to. Uh, they can help Scott solve problems. They can listen to uh, his issues and set up a goal plan for him. They can even help him work on relationships. So a licensed professional therapist is excellent. I cannot overstate the importance of talking to one. You don't have to wait until you feel as though you can't go on any longer. Now is a good time before things get where they are unbearable. Here's the heart of the matter. Parents are important. Talk with them as you work with a licensed professional therapist. Yeah, and I think if you see a therapist, it doesn't mean you have a mental illness necessarily. No, it just it means does not. that you just want to talk to somebody. So I agree. All right, Brenda, thank you. You're welcome. If you have a question that you would like for us to consider for next week, send us an email to therapythursday at griffin.news.